Hi everyone and welcome to Studio Hacks where we look at the latest in tech trends and audio production. In this video we're going to have a quick look at one of my favourite browser plugins that you use hand in hand with YouTube. This is amazing for YouTube creators and it's also really handy and a really fun insider tool if you're just a YouTube viewer. You can find out all sorts of amazing secret information that YouTube doesn't show you. So first of all, you have to install the plugin and there is a free and a paid version. And for a very long time, I just used the completely free version. So I will leave a link in the description and the pinned comment of this video for you to sign up to TubeBuddy. And if you go on to using the paid version, you'll actually get a discount by using my link. So this is the page here where you go to install TubeBuddy. It's available on all of the major browsers. You can see here Chrome, Firefox, Opera. I think that's a Microsoft Edge uh, one there. Why would you be using Microsoft Edge? Honestly. Um, so all you do simply, I mean, this is this is the Brave browser, which works basically exactly the same as Chrome. So I'm interested myself to see how it works on the Brave browser. So I'm just going to click install free now and we'll see if it, we can get this going. I've already got it installed in my Chrome, so let's have a go. All you do here is click Add to Brave. So this would say whatever uh, one you're using. If you were in Chrome, this would say Add to Chrome. So first of all, you have to add the extension. Let's go ahead and do that. And this usually takes not too long. It should do it automatically. And there we go. TubeBuddy has been added to Brave. You can see up on the top right hand corner, um, that we're not seeing the icon for TubeBuddy. If you want to make sure that you can see it under your extensions, you click this little uh, puzzle piece here and you'll see here that we've got a few couple of um, browser plugins here. You just have to make sure you click on that pin and then you'll see the TubeBuddy plugin. Now, once we have installed the plugin, we have to then attach, um, we link our YouTube account. So let's go over to YouTube and I just have uh, one of my music producer YouTube accounts here. And you'll see right here, it says TubeBuddy sign in required. Click here on the top right hand corner. So let's click that. And then you just have to say, I have read, uh, tick these two boxes. If you want to uh, read the terms and services, uh, terms of use and the privacy policy, um, you can, uh, you don't have to subscribe to the YouTube uh, TubeBuddy YouTube channel, but I find that good because they have lots of valuable tutorials on how to use it. Click sign in with YouTube and that will take you to a separate page. It'll take you to this page right here where you have to sign into your Google account or your YouTube account so we can connect that with TubeBuddy. I'm going to enter all my details right now and I'll join back with you. So you'll see here that under this Google account, I have my uh, main YouTube channel and a couple of other alternate channels. These are brand channels. So you just click the channel, uh, YouTube channel that you want to sign in. So you might only have one option here. And then once we've signed in, you just have to allow. It's just going to say here that they can see things. Uh, basically, if you're really interested in, in this, have a closer look. But I've been using this for a number of years and I've never ever had a problem. So now we're all set up and ready to use the TubeBuddy plugin. And you can see that uh, there's a little thing up here with TB, that's TubeBuddy. If you just click on that, it'll bring up um, all of the tools available. So I'm just going to search for my own channel, Studio Hacks. There I am right there. So you can see when you look on the channel view, um, it will give you this nice little um, panel here that shows you um, the, uh, the lifetime views, how many videos, um, how many views in the last 30 days. It'll show you the keywords for the channel, which is really cool. And you can copy those keywords. So this is one of the really handy things I love about TubeBuddy is you can go to any um, video and then you'll see an, here we're loading right here is this fantastic TubeBuddy panel and this gives you advanced analytics. You can spy on your other people's videos and see which tags they've used. And you can even click this button right here to show the search rankings. And this will show you how 
uh, this video ranks, how high they rank in the, the YouTube and the Google search results um, under tags here. So you can get ideas to tag your own videos, or you might just be really curious and you want to find out what tags other people are using on their videos. This will give you a summary of the video you're watching up here. It will give you an SEO score. So we've got 11 ranked tags on this video. It will show you how many times this has been shared and liked on various social media platforms. And then it will give you a little uh, overview of the channel. So I use this in competitor research. When I want to make videos on a certain topic, I look up other people who have made videos on that topic and I'll see what tags they've used and I can uh, get ideas and things like that. So the other main uh, thing that I use TubeBuddy for is if I click on that, I use it to see trending uh, and high searched keyword terms. So here under Keyword Explorer, this is the other thing that I use the most. I'm going to click on this and this will show you what's trending uh, and you can select the country. Just this is basically uh, a Snapchat of Google Trends. But if you want to search for uh, a title, let's say for your video that you're making. So let's say I want to do a garage band for iPhone, how to, um, you, you'll see that it'll come up with a bunch of things. But if I hit explore, so this is the free version, you'll see that it will give me a score on how um, this, whether it's a good keyword. So GarageBand for iPhone how to, this is excellent because you can see that it has a relatively good search volume score right here. Um, but then it will give you, um, it says here that the, there's not much competition for this keyword. So that would be a really good one to use. And it's also given me three more ideas for keywords to use over here. If I upgrade to uh, one of the paid licenses for this, um, it will give you a huge list of ideas, which is really cool. And then it will also show you searches from Google or YouTube. So this is really handy because you'll notice that they are slightly different. So if you want to target traffic to your video from the Google search rather than YouTube search, you might want to use some of these and you can start really simple. You can just go garage band tutorial. Let's try that one. And then this will suggest this can help you drill down. So do we want a garage band tutorial for iPhone, iPad or Mac? Let's go Mac. And then you can just, I just use this to get ideas to see oh, a lot of people are searching for this or this one, maybe not so much. Maybe instead of doing a garage band tutorial for Mac, I might do it for the iPhone. Let's see whether that's a better topic. So I can see that there is a slightly higher search volume uh, for the iPhone. Let's try the iPad. See whether that one's any better. And um, that's about the same. So that's one of the really handy tools that I use uh, TubeBuddy for. Um, I don't really use it for much else. Let me just get rid of that. Um, because everything that really, I really need, it gives me in this little panel here on videos, the panel for channels. If you're interested in seeing, uh, what things you'll get with the paid version, you can click on the TubeBuddy plugin and go to my account and TubeBuddy dashboard, and it will take you to the actual TubeBuddy, uh, website here. And then if you want to sign up for the paid, you can click upgrade now here and you'll see that I've just got the free uh, one here but then if you if you upgrade under member perks you'll see you can get music uh, sound effects videos and graphics um, services and training and mobile apps all with special um, deals only for TubeBuddy users uh, and I'm pretty sure these are available if you uh, sign up for the paid version so I've been a subscriber of the paid version for the Studio Hacks account for over a year, and it has paid for itself many, many, many times over as a YouTube creator. I hope you enjoyed this content. That's a brief overview of how you installed TubeBuddy and how it basically works. I'm going to be doing some more advanced tutorials on showing you how to find keywords 
and trending searches and doing advanced analytics in another video. And when that's completed, I will leave that in the description as well for you to have a look at. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.